Hey guys, welcome to this video. This one is gonna be a little bit different for me. I've not done a video like this before, um, and this is gonna be my monthly favorites for June. I can't believe we're actually talking about June. It's already been and gone because I'm not sure where this year is going. But um, I thought it'd be quite good to do, um, I'm not sure whether to do this monthly or maybe every two months, um, depending on how much things change within a month um, but I thought it'd be quite fun to see and for me as well to like look back and see what have been my favorite products for the month and um, I always like watching these types of videos so I thought it would be quite fun to make. So without further ado I'm going to get straight into my monthly favorites for June. So to start with I'm going to start with my favorite um, builder gel for the month. Um, Many of you will know that I use Purely Light Elegance for all of my nails and um, my must-have for this month has been the Extreme Clear Gel. Um, this, I just find, is perfect for so many different types of customers because it's, um, it's not too runny, it's not too thick. Um, it gives a nice amount of strength that's not too flexible or too hard um, and the main reason that I've really loved it over the last month is where it's been quite warm. Um, this holds its shape a little bit more than say Cool Gel. Um, I love Cool Gel but this has really been a big help to me this last month with the temperature actually getting um, quite warm and humid. Next up is colour gels and I've got three colour gels uh, this month which have been really popular. Two are my most popular colours of the month and then the other one is my personal favourite from the last month. So um, the uh, Light Elegance Make Me A Mrs. Make Me A Mrs. Yeah, Make Me A Mrs. collection has been really popular. Um, I've used it a lot. People have tended to go for like a mixture of different colours, so either going towards the more neutral side or to the pink side. Um, but the pinks have been that little bit more popular for me. Um, the most used one I have is I Do, and this one is like a really soft, pretty spring pink with a nice subtle shimmer through it. This one's been really popular and it goes on really nicely as well. Um, applies beautifully um, and it's been super popular. The next one is Lady in Lace. Um, again, from Make Me Misses a Collect. Again, from the Make Me A Mrs. collection, and this one is much more pearlized than I do. Um, it's a bit more of a cool toned pink, and this one's really interesting because you can apply it really thin with lots of pressure, and it just adds a subtle pink shimmer. So that's really nice over, I've done it with a French, I've done it over the top of the color, it looks really, really nice or you can put two thinner layers on to give it the full coverage. So you've got um, a really versatile color with this one. And many of you will be able to guess my personal favorite for um, this month has been Longboard from the Surf City collection. I absolutely love the Surf City collection. Um, it's one of my favorite Light Elegance collections to date. And longboard is just the perfect, you can see I've got it on some of my nails. Um, anyone who knows me knows I love the like turquoisey blues, aqua greens, and um, this is just the perfect um, turquoise sea um, colour and I absolutely love it. Next up is our glitter gels. Um, my most used and my personal favourite as well has definitely been Malibu from the Surf City collection. Um, again, it's just the most perfect turquoisey blue and I love the fact that you've got matte pieces as well as the sparkly glitter pieces in here as well. Um, I've actually, as well as gotten it on Get It, as well as having it on some of my nails, I've also got this one on my toes at the minute as well because I just love it so much. And then some other popular ones with my customers this month have been um, Be In Your Bonnet, which was from last year's summer collection. Um, this is my second pot of Be In Your Bonnet and anyone that uses Light Elegance know that these pots just go on forever. So the fact that I've actually dented into a second pot 
um, is a bit, quite a big deal. Um, you'll see in my, if you watch my top 10 light elegance glitter gels, you'll see that this featured very highly. Um, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it above. And I just love it. It looks great over any color. Um, I recently put it over the top of I Do, um, which was one of my color favorites for the month and it looked really stunning. So um, try this over anything. You just can't go wrong with this color, um, with this glitter over any color. And then last but not least is with this ring. And this one is from the Make Me Misses. The Make Me Misses. Do you know what? I can't say that. <laughs> this one is also from the Make Me a Mrs. collection, but this is something a little bit different and I probably shouldn't really call it a glitter gel even. Um, it is like a really fine glitter, like the finest glitter you could possibly imagine. Um, and when you apply it over the nail, you do need a colour underneath it. Um, uh, but you can just apply this over the top of any colour and it just adds a really pretty, subtle sparkle. I'm, don't even, I'm not even going to call it glitter, it's more of a sparkle. And um, I've tried it one layer and also two layers. Two layers looks quite nice because it just adds a bit more to the nail. And now on to my other favourites. So this is more like my... Um, kind of nail art and any extras that I like have been enjoying for the nail over the last month. Um, if you have watched my vlog, I don't know if it will be up yet. So if it's up, I'll link it. Um, if not, it will be coming soon. Um, you'll see that I got a quite big delivery from Angel Crystals. I'd never ordered from them before, but um, there's a couple of texts that I follow on Instagram that have bought crystals from them recently so I thought I'd give them a try and they were a little bit cheaper than scatter crystals who I normally buy from because I had a discount code so um, definitely check them out they do them in really nice quantities as well because um, you don't always want to buy like a mass of um, a certain color or a certain size because you might only buy, be buying it to see if you like it and see if it's popular with your customers so I really like the fact that they do smaller amounts um, my two favourites for the month are definitely the um, Square AB Crystals. Um, I didn't actually know what size I was buying when I bought them. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. So when I first opened it, I was a little bit disappointed. However, it's been a really good way of being able to introduce a different shape into um, my ladies that like crystals but they don't necessarily want anything chunky um because it's not that much different to a round normal standard crystal so it means i can get a little bit of something different in there without it being too chunky or customers not liking it being kind of overpowering or anything and the other one i've loved has been the rose alabaster opal mixed pack um I have the regular white opal, um, those are from Scatter Crystals, and I saw that they had the rose ones, which I thought would be really nice, especially with the new Make Me Misses collection, because obviously with there being the soft pinks there, I thought these would go really well, and they do, and um, I've used them on a few customers now, and they look really pretty mixed in with, um, in particular, the AB Crystals, and I've also got another crystal, which is like a pinky, it's might be rose ab or something like that um, that i've had for a little while and those mixed together look really really pretty and my favorite nail art product of this month has been these two brushes um so many of you probably already have the selena ryden uh, nail art brushes um, if you don't you need them in your life because they are just amazing and in particular I love the stripey and the swirly they are just the two most perfect brushes um, you can't get these individually unfortunately at the moment but I hope we will because um, I can't get enough of these two brushes I need uh, probably three or four of these two brushes alone <laughs> And my last favourite for this month is, I won't be able to show you in my shop, but I'll 
put a little clip in for you has been my trolley from ikea so i've had this trolley for a couple of years now um, we used to use it in our pedicure station in the previous salon um, but i have been obsessed again you'll know if you watch my vlog that i've been obsessed with talia's organizational videos and um, I really liked the idea of having my desk quite clear and having everything on a trolley. It also means that because we've only got one chair for pedicures now that each of us can pull our own trolley over to the pedicure chair um, without having to move everything off the desk and it being a little bit of a traumatic task whenever we need to um, get our station set off toes which means we can wheel our trolley over and we're ready to go so um, I've been loving that I've still got some organizing to do in it and I've still got some organizing to do in my drawers as well because um, I've rearranged them a little bit but they're not quite how I want and I still feel like there's certain things that are kind of flying around in the drawers when I open them so I'm looking forward to getting that organised, time permitting, um, but I am so far loving the trolley. So that's it for my monthly favourites for June. Um, let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like to see more of these in the future and let me know what your favourites are. I'd love to know um, what your favourite colours and glitters have been and what have been really popular for your clients and um, I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.